Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another video. And for those who haven't read the title just yet, today we are taking a look at the Nike LeBron 16 versus the Nike LeBron Soldier 12. Timmy versus Flo, LeBron versus LeBron. Let's get it. Before we do anything or say anything, make sure you like this video. Very important to us. Comment down below which of these two LeBrons you think is better. And of course, very, very important, maybe the most important, subscribe to our channel. Help us out, bro to 10K, let's do it together. And once you're done subscribing to our channel, make sure you head over to all our socials across the board at This Is Pure Kicks. And it might also be in your best interest to follow those as well, because why not? You get to see our shenanigans and we do giveaways. And one more thing, another massive shout out to ProDirect for sending these through. If you guys need your pair, once you find out which is better or you already know which one's better, head over to ProDirect Basketball, the links will be in the description and you can get your pair right there. ProDirect got you, we promise. So, with that being said, let's get straight into it. So, first things first, talking about the aesthetics in both of these shoes. I'm gonna start with the LeBron Soldier, obviously. Fine. I mean, where do I begin? I mean, just look at it. It looks like it will take care of you. Mm -hmm. you I mean, no, sometimes no. we rave about which shoe is the best looking. Does it look like it will do the job? No, do you know what I mean? And that is what you want from a basketball shoe. You want the shoe to look like it will do the job. And this shoe looks like it will do the job. The job being absolute lockdown support. That is what the LeBron Soldier 12 looks like. That is what it does. It does what it says on the tin. Said no one ever. However, <laughs> the LeBron 16 <laughs> is so clean. You know this, Flo. Oh my goodness. Talking all that good stuff, the LeBron 16 oh. goes hard. Oh my goodness. Now we'll say, I said it in the performance review as well, KD-esque, we don't mean to bring that into the video too Sweet, tough, but. Man. KDS goes hard. It's okay. and it, it's buff. It doesn't help that you're holding low key the waviest colorway I've ever seen in 2020, my life. 2020, baby. 2020. It is sweet. 2020 vision. Fly Bad it. boy colorway. Flying it. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Yeah, the point goes to the Bronze 16. Thank you. So, next up, moving on to the traction. Now, here in the LeBron 16, we have that racetrack herringbone, which we also have over in the Soldier as well. We do. It goes hard, over here it goes hard. That's what I'm saying, I know it goes hard, it goes extremely hard because it is a great traction pattern and LeBron has been known for good traction anyway. So the race track Herringbone was consistent across many different courts, dusty and even super clean as it always is as well. Super, super consistent, a great compound, loved it. Absolutely banged, 100%. Which one's better though, to me? They're the same, which one's better? Let's see, throw this one. You know damn well that one's better, yeah, but I don't want to say it out loud. I'm trying to embarrass me on the camera. Okay? But, okay. Tell me, could, if you could just say that out loud no, again. Listen, 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 listen yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. You know damn well that shoe's better, but for some reason you want to make me try and embarrass me out here. Okay, yeah. cool. You know damn well that's the better direction. This is the so better direction. Yeah. Roll along with what we said. All right, cool. Talking about the script changing earlier. I know the script. You do yours, I've done mine. Stop trying to embarrass cool. me. Cool. All right, cool. Thank you very much. So the point goes to the LeBron soldier. That's what you're saying. The purpose of the LeBron Soldier, the reason why the LeBron Soldier traction is better, <laughs> is that I think the grooves being a bit tighter helps the traction. I hear that. Hair. Just a tad. No, I hear that. Just a tad. It was buff. I, I, I felt the same way. It's a strong traction pattern. Yeah. I feel like the closer gaps would, in normal cases, mm -hmm. mean more dust. But it didn't. But it wasn't the case. The yeah. design of it, the design of the Ray Track Carry Moment, which they've used in both just did the absolute trick yeah. and it kind of smacked things over on that side. So the point goes to the LeBron soldier. Be happy. Moving on up to cushioning to me. And now we talk about one of my favorite aspects of the LeBron soldier tour. Okay. We have four foot and heel zoom. Love it's not that. quite full length, no. but we'll take it. We do. And in the we'll LeBron soldier 12, we have this amazingly large bottom loaded zoom unit in the foot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And a thick zoom unit in the heel. Yeah. I mean it feels incredible, doesn't it, Timmy? It, it does feel absolutely really nice. amazing. No, I agree. I mean, there aren't many cushioning systems that feel quite the same as the LeBron Soldier 12. <coughs> the protection was covered. I mean, court feel was there. Yeah. 
I mean, that's great. Everything is everything is covered, really. I mean, I can't think of many LeBron shoes that are better cushion-wise than the LeBron Super <laughs> 12. Because the cushioning in the shoe was insane. So good. Such good cushioning. Wow. You're making a whole lot of noise over there. I don't know. Ah, ah, if you're trying to beef or something. <laughs> All right, go you're on. talking so much on that side. Talk to them. Like there's not. Air zoom max on this side. Are you moving mad? I don't know why you said max so loud. I have to, because it's max. Think of all the things you said on that side, maximized. Need I really say more? I'm gonna say more anyway, right? So you said what? Four foot heel zoom. Okay, I hear that. We've got basically full length on this side, right? We've basically got articulated full length air zoom max in the LeBron 16, yeah? Anything you can think of in the soldier, we've got in the 16. Maximized. It's articulated, making it feel almost like the coupled zoom. So it's getting all the good benefits, but it's still full length, so you feel it pretty much everywhere. Inbred protection goes hard in the heel, as it should do. Coverage in the forefoot is a mentalness. Coverage everywhere is hot. Just stop. Jesus, Lord. You're talking a madness a second ago. You got bare quiet all of a sudden. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Just let them know the point of the please. I just think it's crazy. I mean, I, we, I think that they know the point. Come on, fly. I gotta reset you, much. I'm just saying, that's crazy. He was, he was talking to a hell of a lot a second ago. <laughs> and then you got in the quiet. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, next up, talking about materials. Now, here in the LeBron 16, we see a full flying construction with a synthetic material tongue, which is known to do a madness. Yeah. It's supposed to do a madness. Yeah. It's known for doing a madness. Yeah. Flying it went hard. This is definitely, I wouldn't go as far as true flying it because it's not a full flying it construction. It is backed up by some nylon and more synthetics on the inside for good reason. Super comfortable, super lightweight as well. Did his absolute trick. Super happy with it. Flexible, even at the same time, still quite supportive. The Ron 16 did a madness. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Obviously, I'm Team LeBron Soldier 12. I hear that. But I can't lie to you, we weren't too happy with the materials in LeBron Soldier 12. We weren't too happy with Thank them. Thank you, back. I mean, we love the fact that we have this leather toe box mm. and obviously this mesh construction throughout the shoe. But it's just way too much leather in the toe area. I agree. Area. Um, performance wise, Obviously, it adds the weight a little bit mm. and it makes it a bit harder for it to break in. It's not as fast when it comes to breaking as the LeBron 16. Definitely. And it's ugly to look at, man, especially when it creases. You don't want to look at creases when you're balling. It's you know true. I mean? You don't want that. Save that for the Air Force. That's Do you know what I mean? Yeah, thing. man. That's an Air Force thing. Like, that. I cool. love the fact that, you know, it's these shoes companies that they're paying homage to old school materials and cool. add touches of leather throughout yeah. the shoe. But I think the LeBron Soldier 12 had a bit too much leather in maybe one of the most important areas because you're looking down and you're seeing creases. I'm going to miss my jump shots. The same applies actually because some of them are in suede as well. So you're still getting that crease experience. Do you know what I mean? Which you just don't want in, you don't in, want in, it, today's, in today's game. Yeah, we have too many amazing technologies. Too many. Flynet being an amazing example of that. So upsettingly, the point has to go again into LeBron 16. But all is not lost. He's upset, not me. Moving on to the fit in both shoes. I'm smiling again. Why am I smiling again? Because the fit in the LeBron Soldier 12 was sensational. I think I called it a seamless fit in the Soldier Performance Review because it was seamless. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. amazing to me. The fit was absolutely incredible. Especially when the material was breaking. Oh, I hear that. And we've got straps too. Yeah. So the fit can always be adjusted and it fits oh, every and any foot type. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You have your long snake ass feet and we were Again, normal, regular we're wide feet. We're and we were both calm. We were both calm, yes we were. Do you know what I mean? I mean, there's not too many things I can say about the shoe. The shoe is smacked when it came to the fit, I, man. I do hear that. It smacked it. I do hear that. It smacked it. I hear that. What are you saying about the LeBron 16s? What I'm saying about LeBron 16s? It's a good fitting shoe. <laughs> it's a good fitting shoe. Yep. My biggest problem with them is there was a lot of dead space. Mm. Toe box and ankle like area, yeah. right? Why? I believe LeBron just has a really big foot. Extremely. Ankle and everything else 
to do with LeBron, I guess. There's a gusset fit which does extend the tongue, which gives you more space to allow your foot to go inside, which is great and it does the absolute trick. But when it kind of comes back, there's still a lot of space around the ankle area. And I do think the shoe fits a tiny bit long. Yeah. Problem solver, I had to double sock the thing. Fair enough. Two socks, felt much better, but you shouldn't have to when we're talking fit. You shouldn't have to. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a let down. Uh, so I guess the point goes to the bronze soldier 12. Cool. Cool. Yeah, cool, I like that. So next up, talking about support. Now, I'm not looking at him right now. I'm not going to look at him. So I know damn well he's smiling right now. When I say him, I'm talking about Flo. He's, he's looking at me, isn't he? He's fully looking at me. You see, I told you, I knew he was looking at me and smiling. Support, baby. Can I talk, please? I do your thing, man. Yeah? Support in the LeBron soldier. So you look at me. That's what I'm saying. Because the support in this shoe is that good. It made me mess up the whole thing. It made thing. you mess up. Let me go in. Go in. How about that? The LeBron Soldier 12 support is incredible. Absolutely incredible. So good. Maybe one of the most support shoes of the year. Yeah. I.e. 2018. I am mad at that. So good. Once you're locked in and you're strapped in. The support is amazing. No. It's so good. No, I'm with that. I, I don't know what you can really say about the 16s, but I'll hear it anyway. I'll humor you. He said humor me. The man said he will humor me. I'll humor you. Oh my god. Anyway, LeBron 16 was good support. As it's supposed to be when talking to LeBron's shoe. Maybe not as expected as we'd like it to be. Maybe I don't think, long story short, it wasn't soldier levels. It was really coming from the fit. The dead space takes away from support, it does. The lacing system itself is part of that fit as well, which I didn't mention earlier, but it's also kind of missing. It's not the greatest of lacing systems. Again, that dead space isn't rectified by the laces. And I wouldn't even go as far as the outrigger and it's really quite, it's quite a high christening system. It's very high. I didn't mention that earlier because I had no reason to really. But now that we're here and things such as the outrigger plus the kind of high off the ground cushioning system. Court feel isn't there, which does sometimes make you feel like you're a little high up and then that kind of motion can happen. Which doesn't, doesn't happen here, by the way, just thought I'd throw it in there. You didn't have to throw it in there. I, so, I, I wanted to throw it in there. It's not about once, like, it's not about once. So I guess the point goes to LeBron Soldier 12 once again. Right to me? Right. Cool. Last and most certainly not least, talking about the price involved with these shoes. Now, this is obviously the tiebreaker. Yeah. However, this tiebreaker is no brainer. This is a no brainer to me. The LeBron 16 is priced at, now it, it hurts me to say this number out loud, but this. I'm going to anyway. You got this. The LeBron 16 <clears throat> is priced at 165 pounds. You good? Okay, cool, nothing happened. All right, cool. No, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. You good? Cool, everything's good. Okay. That number, right? I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna risk it and say it again, but that number, remember that number. 120 pound for the LeBron Soldier 12. Cool. Now, clearly the point goes to LeBron Soldier 12. I don't know about clearly, chill. Just but, 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 listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Listen chill, to me. chill, clearly. I personally don't believe that any shoe should be priced over a hundred pound, basketball wise, all right? Because I think a hundred pound for a basketball sneaker is expensive in its own, all right? A mm. hundred and twenty pound is very expensive, all okay. right? A hundred and sixty-five pounds! <laughs> Are you dumb? <laughs> what are you talking about? Fam, you know what, I'm, hold on. Here's what we're talking about, right? Let's not forget, this is price slash value. Not just the number. Nah, man. What do you mean, nah, man? There's certain price, there's certain price points out ah, there man, that just throw value out the window, innit? There are, no, there are. There's nothing that this basketball shoe can do for me that is worth £165 that no other basketball shoe can do for me. For example, this shoe does pretty much everything that this shoe can do for me. However, this shoe is priced £40 less than that shoe. Has he 40 but anyway, I don't want to get, I didn't want to even get into that too tough. It is actually really bad. Ah, okay. Are you say what you, what you want to say, innit? Ah, I ain't got nothing. Nah, I ain't got nothing. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And the point goes to the LeBron Soldier 12 once again. Three in a row. <laughs> Three in a row. Would you look at that? Oh, you burning, huh? Oh, you mad, bro? You mad. <laughs> he mad. Three in a row. Gang, gang. LeBron Soldier for life. What are you saying? <laughs> So right guys, there you have it. Looking at the scores, the LeBron Soldier 12 comes out on top. The score is 4-3. It was no easy battle. The battle of the bronze went off as it's supposed to do. It's kind of like if LeBron went up against LeBron. If you don't move that shoe out my face. The battle of the bronze is exactly what it's supposed to be. It was a close battle, but jokes aside, the better shoe came out on top. The LeBron Soldier 12 has been an amazing performer. Has been. Did the absolute trick. And I'm sure most of you guys would agree. If you do, hit us in the comment section below. If you don't, hit us in the comment section below. If you're not sure, hit us in the comment section below. While you're there, like this video as well and show your support if you guys already have, because we greatly, greatly appreciate it. And lastly, make sure you subscribe to the team. Subscribe to Pure Kicks, we're on the road to 10K, so make sure you do that. Hit the bell next to it and get notified every time I drop a new video. So, all right, guys, there you have it. That's it from us. This is the Nike LeBron 16. This is the Nike LeBron Soldier 12. We're Pure Kicks. Let's get it.